What's up guys, this is Fawadin here. Um, this is a tutorial for my friend um, Anasni, um, who wants to know how to like, he's sort of done some 3D animations in Cinema 4D and he wants to know how to put like a background cinematic in it, um, so he can finish up his video. So I'm just going to shoot this just in case you're a bit unsure yourself. Um, but yeah, first of all, what I've got to, what I've got to do, uh, sorry, what I've got, is the background cinemax and the cinema 4D animation. So if I'm going to do it in, uh, in After Effects, which I'm going to just quickly demonstrate now, this is how you do it. I'll bring my cinema 4D animation in. Um, I usually I render this as QuickTime, um, millions of colors plus, and as an animation. Um, and the reason I do that is because when I add a background cinematic, you know, it's got a nice smooth animation. Well, I thought it did. Yeah, um, without the the background itself. So, yeah. And what I do is I import the facial expression. Um, then I'll import the interchange cinematics. And as you can tell, like, well, at the, for this video, all this part in my big project, um, these were sort of multiple cinematics that I used because this is sort of like a camera coming out. Um, I'll just go back to the cinematic that I used. Here we go. Um, as you can see here, when I was recording cinematics, this may be a little tip. I didn't know at what sort of zoom level um, I should um, sort of record it at. So what I've done is I've just done a zoom in. I sort of started around here and zoomed in to around here. So then when I just flick this on, I think scroll through which looks better and then once uh, I think that looks alright okay just hit layer time freeze frame because I'm not doing no shadows that is why I do it in After Effects because it's just it's easier for me um, so I've got this sort of animation here um, but if you're rendering from Cinema 4D what I usually do it's a slow animation so you just want to grab this time enable time mapping bring it down just a little bit make it a bit quicker yeah, about here, that should do but yeah, so then now you've got your background cinematic on and then what you might want to do with cinematics which I find um, pretty decent is just some black boxes at the top and bottom, it just makes um, cinematics look even better that way. Make sure you don't overlap. Um, put like say you put an adjustment layer with color correction on. I'll, I'll show you what happens. This is a mistake I made, but I've changed it now. If I just add some color correction, um, yeah, that's a pretty decent color correction. Why well, I always put the Color cushion under the black box because um, it's sort of sharper. It would change the color of the box, and if the color correction I use had a bit of a glow to it, and the glow was going over the black box, and so that's why you should put color correction under the black box. But yeah, um, and then you can just um, pre compose these, and then you can do whatever you want with them, add a camera shake scale up and do what you want so that's how you put them together in After Effects um, if I come to Cinema 4D now I'll show you how to like put this in because this can be a bit tricky for some people who don't know if this wants to load there we go so let me just open up a project. Uh, for current editing, my dual touch, which is a big project. Cinemax. I've seen this is all Cinemax, like all these Cinema 4D bloody. Oh, that's a lot. Um, Walk with Rifle, that's a village one. As you can see here, I do have the thing already in, but I'll just delete that and you'll see why. 
so basically what we've got here is our animation and you think okay I want to add the background in I right, just want to create a floor and a background for a start then this can be either video or picture um, I used a picture for this one just to make it a lot easier and this is the picture that I cut from my video you can use a video if you want because then you'll have smoke in it and what else is happening which will make it a bit more realistic but I chose not to use it for this one and you just want to drag it on the floor and the background but on the floor if you want to click on low material go to frontal for the projection and then Cinema 4D tags composite composite in sorry on the floor and check composite and background. If I just render that, okay, uh, wicked. So then we got the background in, but if we just sit in back here, and I'll just turn these lights off because they're already preset lights up. Done. There's no shadows whatsoever. So what you just want to do? You just want to import a light. Fuck off. Why is that popping up now? You just want to import a light. Sort of move it into position wherever you want, mine are sort of just above, I think I've actually linked that with him no, one sort of here and here and then the guy will walk sort of that, so then it's sort of got a shadow shining down but it, so it's not being too dark, but I'll just show you because if I ooh, just turn on this one as you can see, it will shine a shadow down this area and it will keep this bit dark. But if I, I just added another light without shadows, and if I render that, oh, bollocks, oh fuck, then it's all good because it's bright enough and he's still got shadows. Um, if I just render that, see? So, um, yeah, how to add shadows. Once you've got your light, you just want to come to shut down shadow and go to shadow map soft. And then if you go to shadow, you can bunk that up to 124 if you use another light because the shadow can be, uh, can be like really dim and shit. So you can just bump that up and ha have a stronger shadow. Um, and that is a first still cinematic, unless you want to start motion tracking it and shit, which I haven't really got used to that yet. But, you know you can find tutorials on how to do that it never works for me so i hope this both helped cinema 40 and after effects any questions just um just hit me up on skype stefan or anybody else <laughs> so like the video comment subscribe if you haven't and check out the next tutorial when it's out peace